Now without wasting time, let's begin by installing Electron onto our system and create a simple Electron app. So as you can see on my desktop, there are three tabs open. All of these links will be in description and it's super easy to download or and install Electron. Now for installing Electron, these are the four steps which you simply need to follow in order to install Electron in your system. So um, this, this link of the Electron JS uh, documentation is in the description or you can just search for um, docs of Electron JS. So and you need to go to uh, git download, git bash download and node.js. You need to get all these three. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply download this uh, git bash. So how do you do that is go to this download page. And there's Windows option, Mac OS option, and Linux option. In my case, it's Windows, so I'm simply going to click on Windows, and it's going to um, install the complete software, uh, the complete .exe file, without me having to do anything. Then we come on to the Node.js and simply click on Windows Installer .msi, or you can also select whether uh, your computer is 32-bit or 64-bit, or Mac OS, or simply download source code from GitHub. All of that is super easy, but I would suggest only Windows installer and Mac OS installer to make it uh, really simple and quick. So in this way, we have already downloaded Git and Node.js. Now the next step is to go and actually install them onto your system. So I'm going to go to my so I'm going to go to my environment folder, and you can see that I have these two uh, applications already listed here. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to install node.js from the windows installer that i just downloaded from their official website i'm just going to click on it and it's going to say welcome to the node.js setup wizard you can just like any other software just click next next until it actually finishes i'm going to say cancel because i've already installed it and then i'm going to click on get and it's again going to do exact same thing nothing extra to explain here just next and next and configure it all the way through and then click on finish right so these two will be installed now in order to check whether uh, the node.js is installed onto your system what you can do is open up your command line like this and then I'm simply gonna type npm uh, dash dash version right and if npm is successfully installed it's going to fetch that version number for you as well and then you can see that after installing git bash there's a shortcut of git bash present on my computer screen. I'm just going to press uh, double click on it and it's going to open a small terminal. So now the four steps of the ins of installing electron actually begins. So the first one is to just copy this link. I'm going to say control C. Come in here and say shift insert and this git clone link is now uh, inserted and now I'm just going to press enter. Now in my case it says fatal destination path electron quick start already exists because I've already installed it. So now you are ready to follow these three steps. So I'm just I'm simply going to copy this command control C that and come in here control V and run it. There we go. So we are in the electron quick start. And now I'm going to install all the dependencies that are required for running an electron app. So I'm just going to say npm install and then dash g. So uh, as soon as I click this, it's going to install all the dependencies globally so that I can uh, use electron from anywhere in my computer. Uh, but I'm not going to do that because I've already installed all the dependencies uh, and it's super easy. Just Just click enter and it'll do everything for you. And now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to say npm start. So this will start the default app which comes with it. So as you can see, this is simply a web page. This is rendered in um, in a native screen, but this is 100% web page. So if I say Control Shift I, it's going to open up the debugging mode just like it opens in um, Chrome. And as you can see, this is H1, this is script tag, right? So everything is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And it's going to be super fun to build all of this. So now we are going to create a very simple Electron app. So to create an Electron app, I'm going to come into my terminal. 
just like this and I'll go to my D drive this is where I want to create my project mm. D drive and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a directory called my first electron electron app and then going into it my first electron app and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute this command called npm init okay so as soon as you uh, execute this command it's going to ask for some options for you to specify so I'm going to say my package name uh, which is going to be let's say my first electron app and version so my version you can write any number you want but for me I'm just gonna go with the default that is 1.0.0 description you can put a uh, description about your app so first electron app is what I'm going to write electron app entry point in the entry point you can so what is this entry point and everything that is something which we are going to talk in the next video but for now I'm just gonna say main.js instead of index.js test command just leave it as it is get repository keywords author you can write your own name I'm just gonna leave it as it is and license leave so it asks whether all the information that you put is okay or not I'm gonna say yes and there you go so we have our first electron app now if I go into my directory what I'm gonna see is that it simply contains a JSON file it has created only one JSON file that is the package okay so this is our package which is created and you can see there are two nodes this is scripts and this is main now if you go to official documentation and now first of all you need this main.js but we don't have this main.js so uh, when we installed electron remember we created a directory or the electron actually created this directory called electron quick start now if you go to this electron quick start you can see there's a main.js you can simply copy this come back here and paste it right here but that's not what I'm going to do what I'm going to do is I will go into this official documentation and I'm going to create uh, a main.js by myself okay so basically electron looks for this package.json and then this main node to execute the main.js um, script right so we're gonna have to create a main.js script so I'm just gonna go to my first electron app folder and I'm gonna save it as main.js um, okay so there we have our main.js now I'm gonna take the code from the electron documentation so this this is what electron should contain so I'll go to const electron I'll just basically copy everything which electron tells me to copy and all of this code is something that I'm going to explain in the next video so don't worry about if you don't get this what's happening right now basically instead of copying one by one I can just copy this whole thing this is what main.js contains so if you don't want to copy it from the uh, documentation you can simply go to that main.js from electron quick start and copy that file Right, I, I'm just copying the content in main.js and I'm going to save it. So there we have our main.js now. Now the second step that we need to do is we need to change the scripts. Right, because this is where it looks for, this is this is the command which um, Electron looks to execute. So what I'm going to say, actually you can go and see here in their package.json that they have in the scripts start Electron. Right, so that's exactly what I'm just going to copy, come in here, paste, and save it. Now, what we don't have right now, for example, if we go to the main.js, which we just created, right? So in the main.js, you can see that there is this app, browser window instances from the electron package. And then there are these codes written, which basically specify the browser window, its height and its width. And then we come down here to win.load file, which means that first electron looks for this package.json package in the package.json it searches for main node main node points to main.js then we go to main.js and main.js basically tells electron that which file is to be loaded so that means that we need to create an index.html as well otherwise no file would be loaded so i'm just going to create a new uh, document 
and I'm simply going to copy this content, go over to VS Code and paste it as index.html. Right. And I'm going to say save. So we have all three components. And now you, you need to remember that this is the most basic structure of any Electron app, an index.html, a main.js, and a package.json. So now let's go into our CMD and see how to run this project. So we are in our my first Electron directory. And what I'm going to do is simply say npm start. So this npm start executes Electron dot process, which we specified in our package.json right here. And then it simply runs the app. So we can simply go to index.html and change its content in you know the web language that you already know. For example, h1. I'm simply going to say h1. Um, my first, and then I'm going to go br. And then I'm going to go h2 electron app. Now. I'll go back to the window and just like a browser window, I can simply press Ctrl R to reload it. So there you can see this is our first Electron app. Now in the next video, I'm going to explain um, briefly what this code is, how it works, what is it doing. It's pretty easy to understand, but I'm going to explain it anyway.